come here every Sunday and you cannot feel anything because your soul is taken by the devil. Amen. The devil have you. Amen. I understand you're telling you when you get temptations. But I tell you this morning that you got to pray to God, lead me not into temptation Amen. and deliver me from evil. Amen. You can't be there and say, well, Jesus, I am this thing, God, and I am this for life. No, God do not want you to be in mess for life. Amen. Some of you think that you are destined to be, at some point in time, you have to tell people it's either or. Amen. You know, people have a tendency of just using us. Lord, help me this morning. Amen. I hope I help someone here. Amen.
kerem wat de jo en de wicked. Maar nu je nog meer van doen lijkt dat. En minister, listen, it's not wrong with that, but I'm saying when you pray to be effective and to be effectual, hit the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to the man, don't go beat around the bush. People don't like for you to beat around the bush. Yeah. Come and tell God what you have to say. Tell him what you have to say. Our Father which art in heaven. I come before you, I have needs, I have, I have situations. Yeah. Most of us, we don't get from God because we don't ask him the right way. Yeah. He's a father in yeah. How many of you have, Jesus said, how many of you have a child and come and ask them for a stool, a brand, and you give them a stool? And if I ask you a fish, would you give them a serpent? So your heavenly father in heaven knows exactly what you need of long before you ask, but you can still come and come boldly before the throne of grace. Many of us become scared, become timid. When you come before God, you gotta let God know. Let me tell you something. God will answer your prayer. Yeah. Sometimes God will answer right away yeah. because you may not be ready to accept it. Let's suppose that God made a millionaire right now. Am I ready? No. I become a millionaire. The mother is chip. <laughs> The more of this chip I can get to with that money, you're, you're going to see me in church. <laughs> Every week I go on a, yeah. some engagement somewhere. Uh -huh. I, one of the guys are preaching. Mm. When you got many money, you got, you got a lot of opportunity. So God, if God make me a millionaire at this stage, I think I'll be a disaster. <laughs> but guess what? He may have intention of making me a millionaire. So what he's going to do, he's going to put before me, Sister Well. Yeah. The first thing you do is gonna put before me, Sister Ware. God ain't hear me this morning. Come on. Yeah. This practical you know. Yeah. Sister Ware with her pre self come with all of her needs and her burdens before me. And the devil know that she has needs and burdens. So the first thing that happened with all this money, yeah. when she come with her needs and her wants, the devil may tell me, ha, ah, good chance. Yeah. I give you this, X, Y, Z, X, Y. Am I ready for that money? God has to, have to test me in that area. And I have to prove that I'm ready yeah. to get this money. And when I give it to Sister Webb, I give it to her in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you get it and you ain't ready for it, it's going to cause you to self-destruct. Yeah. Uh, am I ready for a full church? I don't know. <laughs> Because why? When the church gets full, you got people with all kind of crazy ideas on how you ought to behave, how you ought to dress, how you ought to preach, how you ain't preach. Are you ready to take all of those insults? <laughs> Firstly, I have to get insulted by Chanel. I have to get insulted by Robin. Now and again, minister got to throw one of me and then laugh. And then the deacon them got to abandon me when I'm looking for them. I'm looking for them. And they say, Jesus, where the deacons? No deacon, I look for David, Gabriel, and Gabriel. Give me that funny little laugh. <laughs> God ain't going to give you nothing until you are ready to have it. Yeah. Why would God give a man a, a wonderful big time job if the nigga can't get to work on time? Ha! I withdraw that nigga statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I enjoy that, enjoy, enjoy that nigga piece? Yes. Why would God give you a good job if, the, if you as a person, you all here with me this morning, if you as a person, you cannot get out to work one time. Amen. See, if God gives you a job paying $70,000 a, 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 a year, you're going to have to be on the job almost 24 hours. Amen. You got to get there early and you got to be the, the last one leaving. Okay. So why do you want God to give you all of this big thing and you, number one, you can't get to the job on time. Number two, you can get to the job on time, but then the minute you get that first pay, you get get knocked out. Yeah. You drink, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. you call your friends and you all have party and all you all night, and early in the morning, you can't get out. So in order for you to get that job, God is gonna give you tests. God is gonna give you trials. God is gonna give you a hard job, someone to fire you on the job, someone gonna talk to you about, but yet you're praying, God, give me this 
good job and God say, I want to give this good job to you, but right now you are not in the right frame of mind to accept it. Right. You do realize that many of us, we are asking God to, listen, and it drop in my mind, oh God, I want an accounting job. You want an accounting job and you ain't learned how to stop your friend yet. <laughs> the minute the man, God give you that, 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 that accounting job, yeah. and the minute the person leave you with that money, the next thing you know, you start to edge off yeah. one two dollars here, one three dollars here, one five dollars here, and sooner than later, you are you are deep down in all kind of debt. You keep demand money, and the police looking for you, everybody looking for you, and you say, God, I want, I pray, God, I want a big time job. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You may not be ready. Yes. For the big time job, God has a time for everything. Yeah. Every one of us has to go through training. We have to go through a wilderness experience. Yeah. God, I want marriage so bad. God, I want a husband so bad. You want a husband? Do you want that thing called husband? When he reach home, I need my food. <laughs> but baby, you can't see I just come from work. Honey, come, come clip my toenail. Can't you do something wrong with your honey? <laughs> God, I want a husband. Baby, 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 my, my, my t-shirt. You see how this t-shirt looking, man? You want to look like you wash this t-shirt. But you can't go and wash it yourself, baby. Do you truly want a husband? <laughs> Of 
making us great.